Konnichiwa, Uibu Gangu, Watashi no Namai wa Dr. Mimu san. Kyo wa Hataraku Saibo, Episode 3 no Omimasu. Iku! Wait, why does that look familiar? That color, that that shape, those those little nubbins coming out of it. It's almost like something I've I've seen before. Well, I I, I think it, I, I'll I'll. I'll... So we've got a new member of staff for the cells that work within the human body, the naive T cell. Basically, they're like immature T cells that haven't yet decided what they want to do in life, whether they want to be a memory T cell or some other kind of affected T cell like those chunky boys we saw before. They haven't really come across any antigens, which is what those little nubbin things are on the cells. So they continuously circulate throughout the body until they meet an antigen on a bacteria or a virus cell, and then that'll help them to develop into something a bit more useful than what this guy's doing right now. It's kind of like a medical student going through about medical school, going through all the educational process, coming out specializing, going into a subspecialty, and then ending up as the most useful thing that they can, a YouTuber. <laughs> Is this guy the only white blood cell, the only neutrophil in this entire body? The guy's carrying the entire team right now. Come on, guys. Or the human that they're in could be immunocompromised. Theory for season two, maybe? <laughs> Okay, so we know what we're dealing with. It is definitely a virus. It's the zombie apocalypse that everybody wanted in 2020, but instead, lucky us, we got the deadly bat flu. Dr. Mim here. I'd just like to confirm that COVID-19 is not the same as influenza, and they are two completely different things, just before I get quoted out of context. Thanks. Influenza virus. Influenza, it's influenza season right now, guys. Make sure you get your jabs if you haven't done so already, because contrary to popular belief, the flu does kill quite a lot of people every single year. And although the virus does often mutate, the basic structure has been well known for long enough now that we have really effective vaccines and treatment options that save thousands of lives every year. So thumbs up for modern medicine on that one. <laughs> So the way that vaccines multiply and proliferate is actually kind of creepy. They can't actually survive for that long by themselves, so the way that they multiply is by injecting their DNA or RNA into your own body's cells, which manipulate those cells as DNAs to manufacture more of the virus, which will then explode out of the cell, destroying the cell and creating more of themselves. I mean, that's... that's just f***ed up. <laughs> I like it, I like it, yeah, so macrophages can recognize antigens and send the information back to the helper T-cells to help facilitate a more widespread immune response. By the way, quick little note about influenza B, it's not as common as influenza A and doesn't really cause pandemics because it mutates at a much slower rate and also doesn't cross from species to species like influenza A can. I've personally never seen anyone with influenza B myself in my career so far, but theoretically I guess it's possible and maybe in Japan the situation's different, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if there's some context which might explain why this particular person's getting influenza B. <laughs> oh step neutrophil, help me, I'm stuck. <laughs> no, family friendly show, family friendly channel, family friendly doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's just got like a teenage girl's diary of all the viruses he's encountered. Man, what a guy. What a guy. Brings back memories of all the notes that I made in medical school and never once looked back on again. <laughs> Just grab it. Just grab that one next to you and then just beef yourself up. You'll be fine. Come on, man. Oh yes, I hope they're gonna give us like a Rocky Balboa style montage of training, punching bags, lifting weights, getting thick. Bring it on, I'm ready. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> Where's my montage? I wanted a montage. Don't just give me a glowing light. That's, that's bullshit. I don't want that. I want to see some lifting heavy, hard, cold iron. I want to see some something. Instead, it just has a metaphorical steroid injection and just gets huge. Disappointed. <laughs> So this is kind of a strange way of showing it. I don't think this is the best way to depict a viral infection if I'm being really critical. The viral cell needs to be in direct contact with a host cell in order to inject its genetic material. Like I said, viruses don't just replicate by themselves. They can only do that with the help of a host cell. So I think they could have shown this in a better way. Even just having the virus like bite the host cells and infect them like literally just like a zombie apocalypse type scenario. I think that would have been a little bit more accurate. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. I wish that was like real life. You know, I can just have a glowing ball within me and suddenly come out with like a chiseled jaw or just any kind of jawline whatsoever I'd be happy with, to be honest. All right, finally, we've got a B cell. So B cells are actually a really important part of the immune system. They're called B cells because they originate in the bone marrow. One of the main functions of a B cell is to produce antibodies, which can then bind onto a bacteria or a virus. And that can have the effect of either directly neutralizing the pathogen or tagging it so that other immune cells can then attack it more easily. <laughs> Why am I getting really strong Jojo vibes from this guy? So the virus does transmit from person to person, mainly via respiratory droplets, which is what a sneeze would cause. But in terms of the body getting rid of the virus that's already circulating, it doesn't all just come out in a sneeze. It actually gets metabolized in places like the spleen and the liver. Oh my god, they literally only eat Subway sandwiches. I was only joking about this in my last video, but that's literally all they eat. Amazing, amazing. Please sponsor me, Subway. Come on, it's about time. So yeah, with everything going on in your body while you're fighting an infection, your temperature will rise, and that's why it's really important to keep hydrated. We actually sweat quite a lot. I think the maximum sweat rate when you're exercising is something like two to four liters per hour, which is just ridiculous. But your body can survive a lot longer without food than it can without water. So if you ever do get sick, focus on the water, even if your appetite isn't great. <laughs> Oh, is this going to be a mutated cell? Yeah, the influenza virus is known for mutating. Although, like I said earlier, the type B doesn't really mutate as much as the type A. But that's why we need to take a new flu vaccine every year because the vaccine is made specific to the most common mutation of influenza at that point that year. So the one that you had the year before is less likely to be effective. Okay, my bad. It's just a different influenza. How unlucky is this person? They seem to be getting infections and diseases like every other day. Jeez. I'm really starting to believe that the host that these cells are in is actually immunocompromised. Now, actually, yeah, that's going to be my prediction moving forward for the next season or the next few episodes at least, which I am going to watch, by the way. So uh, make sure you subscribe so uh, you don't miss a video. <laughs> What happened? They got influenza A. What happened? Did they die? Did, did they die? Anyway, guys, that wraps it for today's episode. Not really my favorite one so far, I will admit. It seemed kind of linear and there wasn't much creativity going on. And plus, we didn't even get to see Red Blood Cell, the other main character. She probably just died in that scab, to be fair, in the last episode now, thinking about it. But nevertheless, some interesting things that we saw. We got the B cell now. We had the naive T cell. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> but anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction video. If you did, please do leave a like and hit the subscribe button as well. I do appreciate it. So thanks everybody for the support that you've given me so far. Don't forget to stay safe and healthy, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, you can't see the body. You can't see the body. <laughs> wait, wait. You can't see the body. It's amazing. Oh, no one's noticed it. It's invisible. Oh my god, did I just get away with murder? Holy crap.